My theory for stretching with the size of genetics is that there are two elements to maximizing gains. The first involves stretching at a comfortable length to allow the penis to heal in an extended state. The second includes stretching at a length outside of the comfort zone to give the penis something to heal. For example, if I wear the size genetics for six hours a day, I want the majority of that time to be comfortable with just a slight amount of tension. Naturally, we grow inside with the size genetics. Me, I like to add bars at a faster rate. My technique involves going one short bar beyond your goal, then using your goal as a relief from the tension. This is how I've gone on to use all of the bars. I'll use an example scenario of one long bar and one medium bar. Sit on the toilet or your favorite penis enlargement chair and put on the size genetics with just one long bar, then screw on one short bar and stretch for five to 20 minutes. Every time is different, so listen to your body. Now for the fun part. Add on the size genetics so it points straight up. Then replace the short bar with the medium bar, one side at a time. Do this by pressing down on the base. I remove the top bar, then attach the next bar. It's important to not loosen the bottom bar, as the tracking screws will rotate and the tension will be sent. We don't need the extra tension right now. Your penis should be stretched at your goal and should only be comfortable pointing straight up. Now every 30 to 60 seconds, push the size genetics down bit by bit and let it relax. We're gonna get to a point where it's uncomfortable to push it any lower. Push down the size genetics from the top of the deuce piece, then release. Do this 30 times. This allows less tension to be placed on your penis, followed by more tension. It's just like how muscle is gained in the gym. Speed can be varied. Personally, I like to do it rather quick, only doing it slowly once every 10 reps. After a few sets of 30, you should now feel more relaxed and comfortable. Next, do 15 reps, but instead of letting the unit relax, pull it up and outward. I call these SG reps. Do two to three sets of 15, then let your penis relax to this angle for 30 seconds before pushing it down any further. Repeat this until you're able to push the size of next completely downward. Do these reps until it is bearable to have the size of your neck pointing straight down at your goal length. Hold it angle down for 5 to 10 minutes. Now, it's time to get insane. Angle the size of your neck straight up and sneak in one short bar past your goal. This will be intense. Doing sets of reps and pushing the angle further down. Once you can't go any further, let it sit for as long as you can bear, be it 30 seconds or 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you can go lower, but let's be careful, alright? Every day is different. Some days, I can only go 45 degrees down. Sometimes, I can go straight up. Sometimes, just below. I go apeshit sometimes, and I'll start to add traction when I reach this point, but that's just me being crazy. Again, stay at this point only for as long as necessary. We don't want to overtrain. So your dick has been stretched past its comfortable goal like a wet t-shirt, so now we'll remove the short bar, let the size the next point downward, and relax at your goal, one long, one medium here, for as long as you want. Some days it take 10 minutes, sometimes 20. Keep in mind your dick is going to feel tired, so relaxing here may feel confusing, maybe slightly uncomfortable. I say your dick is relaxed, since it's no longer being ripped past your goal, but it's not at its normal, one long, one short bar stretch. Do this once a day, no more than once. After that, strap on at your comfortable bar length, and wear like normal throughout the day. Watch as every day, you get closer and closer to adding that next bar. 